Hi guys, welcome to a, another beer review. I've got something a little bit special. And I think this is actually the first uh, Trappist beer that I'm reviewing on the channel. And I think it's the first triple beer that I'm reviewing on the channel. And it's the first beer from this brewery that I'm brewing on the channel. But it's not the first time that I've drank any of the previously mentioned things. I've been watching Michael Jackson's Beer Hunter series recently. It's just so great seeing stuff that we all know and love back then. I mean, it was only 1989, so it's not too far back in history. But it's just great to see that how breweries have evolved that are included in the documentary, or how like labels have developed and even just stayed the same for the most part. And yeah, fantastic stuff. And one of his episodes, he mentioned this beer. So this is the Chimay Triple or the Chimay Blanche, uh, of course, from Belgium. And it's a Trappist beer. And uh, yeah, the Chimay Blue is to me just a beautiful beer which i do need to actually revisit on camera again but yeah a triple from chimay iconic i'm sure everyone and their grandma has drank this one before and this one is clocking in at eight percent abv but yeah iconic looking label fairly classical and then you've got the crown as well so i'll definitely be keeping both of those and of course the bottle itself has lovely etching on it so yeah beautiful presentation right off the bat so let's get this cap off without completely destroying the bottle cap because i want to keep it and he says that and he drops it onto a metal surface so uh yeah let's get this beer poured in and see what we get let's get rid of those few drops so it doesn't interfere with the beer too much. Yeah, I think I'm going to be ending my night with this beer. I was planning on doing a head-to-head -head between uh, Schneiderbeiser, Unser Aventinus and the Aventinus Icebox. But as much as I love those beers, I thought, oh, I'm not really in the mood to do that. So picked up a couple of lagers and I picked this up and I thought it's about time that I get this reviewed. So beer in a glass and that is a lovely orangey colour. It's got some lovely like honey bronze sort of hues in there as well. Very mild. But yeah, you can't see through that. Well, you can, but it's very distorted, very hazy and beer poured with about two fingers worth of a brilliant white head so uh, yeah looks nice so far let's give it a little bit of a sniff and you get this sort of like um stingy lemony citrusy hop character a little bit of a uh, slight sweetness in there but more along the lines of a, a fruity sweetness. A little bit of yeast character in there as well. A little bit of wheat character. But this lovely sort of sherbetty powdery hop presence. But it's not in your face. It's not smacking you around the chops or anything like that. When you put your nose in and you ingest or inhale, then you do get it. But it's not exactly... You know jumping out of the glass definitely floral tones in there as well sort of has that smell of like a field the day after it's rained if that makes sense but yeah it smells really really nice and balanced let's give it a taste cheers it's definitely hoppy but you get like this instant bitterness right up front and you get those like that hop oil almost it's not burning or anything like that but it's like this tingly hoppy flavor right up front and then on the back end 
really quite sharp and a, a tad dry as well yeah it's like tingling the tongue but it's really really nice and then once you get underneath that you get this lovely as I'm talking now I'm getting like um, the aftermath of a double IPA that sort of characteristic that like hoppiness mixing in with that ABV as it's going down. It's not a burning sensation. For the most part, the alcohol is masked really nicely. I've had beers less than 8% where you taste the alcohol. You get it more on the back end. It has this slight, like when you've got alcohol on your breath, that sort of sensation. But yeah, that like singy is... Zangy, <laughs> singy zangy. That like hop character mixing with that alcohol warmth is a really lovely sensation on the back end. It's got a little bit of tartness there, and then you get this really nice spicy Belgian yeast character, really shining through this beer. Very floral as well, and although the alcohol is masked. It's such a powerful, like, instant hit every time you take a sip that you really want to take your time with this one. <clears throat> carbonation really nice, medium mouthfeel to it, and that carbonation works really, really well with that. It's a little bit aggressive, but not too much. But yeah, that, that like the hop resins and the hop oils really come through on the back end a lot. And it's hoppy in that sense. But yeah, this is a definitely, definitely demands your respect and attention. You know, drink with care, savour the moment. It might be a little bit too sharp for some people. But for me, this is the like perfect beer to end the night on. I'm getting that same sensation and bitterness as what you would get from like a gin and tonic. Which I very rarely dabble in spirits. But if I'm out and I've had a few beers and we're you know, deciding what we want to drink before we go home. I love to finish stuff off with a really good gin and tonic. And you get that like tonic character with this as well. And that's what it's really reminded me of. And it just like completely wipes your palate. But leaves its own flavours there if that makes sense. It's the perfect beer to end a night on. It is a somewhat acquired taste. But for me that is a, a lovely beer. Is it my favourite from the Chimay beers? Um, Chimay Blue for me is just a beautiful beer. Uh, Chimay Red actually, I can't remember the last time I drank that, so it's probably bad me comparing this to the others right now. But Belgian beers, they've got the history, they've got the heritage, they've got the, the craftsmanship, they've got it nailed down. And you get that with this beer. But it's not a beer that I would gravitate to on a regular basis. If I wanted just... Every now and then, a little bit of a treat. This is one of those beers that you'd go for. And very highly regarded, highly rated from what I've seen on various websites. And for me, for my score, I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Um, I love that hoppiness. I love the, the bite that this beer has. But it's not one that I would go to very often, um, especially in the world, or the un rel relatively undiscovered world for me, of Belgian beers. But yeah, still a, a fabulous beer, and I could definitely see why people have, hold this beer up to such high regard. And... Uh, yeah, I'm going to definitely, definitely enjoy the rest of this beer. So if you've tried this one, as always, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. Uh, am I right about this one? What's your favourite of the Chimay series? What's your favourite Trappist beer in general? What's your favourite Triple? What's your favourite Belgian beer? Just 
hit me up in the comments, get a discussion going. And uh, yeah, if any of my friends, of course, have reviewed this one, the links will be included in the description box as well. So thank you guys for watching, and I shall hopefully see thee later. And also check out the uh, episode of Beer Hunter that this was included in. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Cheers.